What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily. So let me ask, how do you manage your passwords? With nearly every app or website requiring a username and password combination nowadays, it's certainly overwhelming to keep track. You might even use the same passwords for a lot of your accounts, but hopefully your super important stuff has strong, unique passwords that you can change often because it seems like there's a data breach just about every other month. Now, I actually think writing down your passwords with a pen and paper isn't the worst thing in the world. It keeps everything offline, at least, but we live in the 21st century and there are far better options out there to help keep you safe and organized. For starters, I think most people likely default to some of the on-device password managers, whether that's through a web browser like Google's Password Manager or iCloud Keychain for Apple devices. From a convenience standpoint, they're tough to beat, but they're also usually the least secure option. Web browser password managers offer little security. Anyone who hops on your computer can likely log into whatever saved account you have without any additional measures standing in the way, usually just a drop-down box. Google's own password manager that syncs across both Chrome and your Android devices is free at least, but you get what you pay for in this case, namely next to no features and very little back-end security guarantees. Apple's iCloud keychain actually is a pretty solid password and autofill option if you happen to already be engulfed in Apple's ecosystem. It manages not just passwords, but credit card and payment info, Wi-Fi passwords, addresses, and other autofill information. It'll also create super strong randomly generated passwords unique to every new account you create, and everything's synced across your devices and saved to the cloud. Apple's security measures to keep that sensitive info secure are pretty vast, and in day-to-day -day use, iCloud Keychain can be paired with biometric security measures like Face ID and Touch ID. Convenience is the biggest factor here, but obviously iCloud Keychain is Apple-specific, so it's also inconvenient if not every device you have is Apple. There's no cross-platform usability. That's where a third-party password manager comes in. And the first one I would recommend, and that I personally use myself, is RoboForm Password Manager. RoboForm is a very straightforward cross-platform password and autofill manager. From a security standpoint, RoboForm keeps your information safe with local and end-to-end 256-bit AES encryption. On their user end, you'll have a master password that RoboForm has no access to. They offer two-factor authentication and password auditing, so they really have the trifecta of security measures from front to back. They've also been around for forever, nearly 30 years, and have a completely clean record. That's pretty impressive on its own. RoboForm has a desktop app, iOS and Android apps, web portal, and a browser extension. They each offer a little different flair in how you manage your information, but they're all super easy to use with one-click logins. The core of RoboForm's platform is the Password Vault. It's accessible via all the apps and portals I mentioned, and you can store logins and passwords, website bookmarks, safe notes, identities, and contacts. On the desktop app, you'll get a broad overview of your online well-being password strength metrics, data breach information, and duplicate password checking. And all of this is updated regularly. Your saved passwords and information are listed in a Windows file system style layout that you can click through and manage, which is a great way of displaying and accessing all the information. But I actually think most people will utilize the RoboForm browser extension. You can manage all your passwords and autofill data right from here. Each website or account you access will automatically receive the credentials you've saved, and you can easily jump right to RoboForm's web portal if you need to change any advanced settings. RoboForm also offers a password generator to help you create strong, safe, and unique passwords. It's easily accessible directly from the browser extension as well, and within the mobile and desktop apps. By default, RoboForm generates passwords that are 16 characters long, exclude similar characters, and contain a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols, but you can change the character count set to however you'd like. RoboForm also has a number of other super robust features, including emergency access, assigning a trusted person that could access your passwords and information in times of crisis, application password and autofill management on some supported desktop and mobile applications, secure sharing, which allows you to share passwords, notes, bookmarks, and other info to family members or coworkers, and also 
24-7 support. Now, many of RoboForm's advanced features are only available with a paid subscription. RoboForm does have a totally free option that actually is great on its own if you want to try it out for a while. But RoboForm's individual plans start as low as $18 per year, not even two bucks a month. It's a really great deal considering all the features and security measures you get. If you're interested in trying out RoboForm for yourself, I'll leave a link down below in the video description with an additional discount as well, 30% off. And thanks so much to RoboForm for sponsoring this video. Bitwarden is another cross-platform password manager that also offers both free and premium versions. It's an open source tool that takes care of everything from passwords to notes, credit card details, and other private data. Their source code is freely available for anyone to inspect and review. This makes Bitwarden more transparent and secure than closed source password managers as it allows security experts and other people to review the code and identify any potential vulnerabilities. Bitwarden provides secure password storage by encrypting user data using the same industry standard AES 256-bit encryption, which means that your data is protected both in transit and at rest. Additionally, Bitwarden offers two-factor authentication, which provides that added layer of security to protect against unauthorized access to your overall account. And Bitwarden also offers cross-platform platform support with desktop and mobile apps for Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, and Android, and has a handy browser extension. Bitwarden's password management features allow you to store and access your passwords securely, of course. It too offers password creation tools that can generate complex, unique passwords that are difficult to crack. Additionally, Bitwarden also allows you to share passwords with other users securely, making it easy to manage team passwords anywhere you need. Bitwarden also offers a digital wallet of sorts that can store credit card information, bank account details, and other sensitive data. This feature allows users to autofill payment information on checkout pages, saving time and providing some convenience. Bitwarden also offers both free and premium versions of his software. The free version provides access to most of the essential features, while the premium version provides additional features, such as advanced reporting, user management, and custom branding for corporations and companies. They have packages ranging from a couple of dollars per user per month with relatively affordable business and family options too. Another pretty decent password manager option is 1Password. It offers a number of the same great features as the other password managers, such as AES 256-bit encryption, but there are a couple of cons with 1Password that I think make it less enticing. 1Password has a zero-knowledge policy, meaning it doesn't store, track, or sell your data. And to prevent hackers from intercepting data sent to 1Password's server, 1Password uses NSRP, or Secure Remote Password Protocol, which keeps master passwords, secret keys, and other data safe. 1Password is extremely user-friendly with a highly intuitive dashboard. From the dashboard, you have access to password auditing, data breach monitoring, virtual payment cards, and travel mode, which hides your passwords on the go. And this is a feature that's only available with 1Password. 1Password also allows you to store your data in separate vaults. This makes it simple to separate and organize all your logins and data into easy to access vaults. So for example, you can keep personal info, work logins, family documents, and other stuff separate instead of having to scroll through huge lists of all of your login details. 1Password also lets you share logins with anyone even if they don't use 1Password. And you can also share documents and files from your vault. And 1Password remembers the history of what you put in your vault. This is convenient if you still need to maybe enter an old password or login for a website or look up a discarded credit card number from a previous purchase. There's also an option to archive an item you no longer use but wish to keep just in case. And you can easily restore it to one of your vaults. The major downsides with 1Password are really with the pricing. There's no long-term free option with 1Password, just a 14-day trial, and their cheapest plan for individuals start at $3 per month, and you don't even have access to the full suite of features. 1Password definitely has a long list of capabilities and unique options, but unless you specifically need that stuff and pay for it, this is a more pricey option than the rest. Last but not least, let's talk about LastPass. Now, for a long time, LastPass was a solid password manager, but more recently, after a string of data breaches and security incidents, 
LastPass gets a resounding no as far as my recommendation. In August, the company's source code was accessed through a compromised developer account. No vault data or master passwords were compromised, supposedly, and users weren't asked to take any further action. Not even five months later, LastPass was compromised again. This time, a hacker did gain access to internal LastPass systems. User details, such as email addresses, telephone numbers, and IP addresses were exposed that time. And LastPass also disclosed that the hacker was able to obtain a copy of an encrypted backup of user passwords, website usernames, and form filling data. The passwords are encrypted, but still the damage is done and the user data is out there. And security issues have actually plagued LastPass even as far back as 2019, when a researcher found a LastPass browser extension vulnerability that could have exposed 16 million users' credentials, including master passwords, email addresses, and password reminder questions. This all makes LastPass, to me, the worst option for password management. Sure, they're technically popular, and they have some great features, but feature number one for any password manager is security and they seem to not even be able to do that right. I would pick any of the other password managers I mentioned over LastPass. And even Apple's iCloud keychain or Google's own password manager might be a better option over LastPass just based on security alone. So there you go. Those are some of my thoughts, recommendations, and disrecommendations, I guess, for password managers. What do you guys use to keep track of your sensitive info? Is there a better option I missed? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, of course. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this video or at least found it somewhat helpful. Be sure to follow Tech Daily on Twitter and subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys later.